A parish is its people. From the beginning of the Catholic community in Bowling Green, the people of St. Aloysius have taken care not just of each other, but of the common space we call home. The community banded together in the Roaring Twenties to build this Spanish Gothic building. We came together again in the 60s to add a school, Clare Hall, and our gym, Hartman Hall. Over the past eight years, the people of this church have come together in one of the most remarkable development campaigns in parish history. Among these accomplishments, we funded a miraculous restoration of the sanctuary murals and floors. We built a new narthex that serves as a flexible common space for parish events and weekly mass. We expanded programs for our youth through the Say and Fiat programs and added new retreats for our adult parishioners. But we're not done yet. Our work continues to invest in our facilities to serve another generation of Bowling Green's Catholic community. Work remains in our church. From the wood ceiling of the nave, whose artistic details have been lost to aging, to our floors, which could use the first refinishing in several decades, to the pews in which we worship, and the kneelers from which we pray. And finally, the former cry room, which we hope to convert to a more modern sacristy, an audiovisual room to broadcast mass to the narthex, and eventually to our shut-ins through internet streaming. We use Clare Hall today in ways for which it was never designed. It's functionally inaccessible for parishioners using wheelchairs. The second floor spaces, designed as bedrooms, aren't suited to the needs of our parish and school today. The kitchen facilities, sufficient for the use of a community of sisters, don't match with our needs of cooking for larger groups. Routine needs, keeping up with maintenance on our roofs, updating gutters and downspouts, reciting the preschool, are all part of the responsible stewardship of what we have. There are good problems too. Some masses and events are so full that finding parking is an issue. How can we better manage the parking we have and find ways to expand? Music programs at both the parish and the school are flowering. How do we best accommodate their needs? St. Al's is us. It's our turn to shape the future of our parish. Just as a century of parishioners before us have invested their time and treasure to build the church we cherish, now we have the chance to be good stewards of what we have and create our church of the future.